Now the first step is to install Vulkan. Now for this you can go to Steam, select the game and then scroll down here you can see manage my DLC. Uh, if this is unchecked that is Vulkan support. If this is unchecked you can put a check on Vulkan support and it will go through an update. Once the update is complete launch the game and then check. Still not working. Try dash Vulkan in the launch option. So make a racking the game. Go to properties in the launch option type in dash Vulkan and then you can launch the game and then check still not working then try these in launch option these are provided in the video description so in the launch option you can make a right click properties in the launch option you can type in this dash hi launch the game and then check still not working you can even try it all these commands are provided in the video description paste it hit the enter key if that does not work you can try this dash dx9 if that does not work try dash dx12 if that does not work try dx12 so you can try these in the launch option you can try it one by one if that does not work you can try auto config over here launch the game and then check still not working try this dash open gl over here and then launch the game so try these all these are provided in the video description you can try it one by one and check now it's still not working you can remove this follow the next step now the next step is to windows 7 user install platform update for windows 7 so you can go to microsoft website the link is provided in the video description click on download and then you have to install both the files and in, uh, download both the files and then you have to install both the files so click on it once the download is complete yeah, you can run both the exe file and then once it is installed then you have to restart your computer and then you can check still not working uh, the next step is to install directx file so here you can see both are installed so you can click on it and then let the installation complete i i don't have windows 7 so i will receive this if you have windows 7 only then this will work so only windows 7 users can try now because i have windows 11 now to install directx you can click on download over here and then run this exe file click on yes to allow and then I accept next uncheck install Bing bar click on next and let the installation complete once the installation is complete click on finish and then restart your computer and then check now the next step is to install visual C++ file now for this you can go to Microsoft link the link is provided in the video description it will take you to Microsoft website so you have to install both x86 and x64 so download both the files and then run the exe file if you see the repair option click on repair if you see the install option install after the installation once both are installed you have to restart your computer and then check still not working the next step is to verify the game files now for this you can go to steam make a in the game select properties go to install files tab and then click on verify integrative game files once the verification is 100 percent complete launch the game and then check still not working perform clean installation of your graphics card driver so if you have nvidia card go to nvidia website select your graphic card from the list make sure that you select your graphic card your operating system over here then click on start search and whichever is the latest graphic card driver you will see at the top geforce game ready driver click on get download and then you can click on download now and once the download is complete you can run this exe file when you run the exe file uh, click on yes to allow click on ok and then click on agree and continue select custom option click on next and then put a check on the box which says perform a clean installation then click on next after the clean installation is done restart your computer and after the system restart you can launch the game still not working the next step is to now for amd card users again go to amd website make sure that you select your graphic card over here i don't have amd graphic card make sure that you select your graphic card this is just an example select your operating system whichever is the latest click on download install it restart your computer and then launch the game now make sure that you run the game on dedicated graphic card now for this you can type in graphic settings in windows search box click on graphic settings click on add desktop app go to the game installation folder wherever the game is installed and then open the game folder bin win64 select the game exe file click on add once the game is added over here find the game in the list scroll down once you find the game click on the game and over here select high performance you will see your graphic card over here launch the game and then check desktop users make sure that you connect your hdmi cable or display cable to the dedicated graphic card slot not the motherboard slot 
next step is to try power saver mode now for this type in control panel in windows search box click on control panel and then click on hardware and sound go to power options and over here uh, you will see power saver in my case i have only balanced so if you see power saver over here you can select power saver relaunch the game and then check you can even go for balanced or high performance but first of all try power saver now the next step is to update windows to the latest version for this open windows settings go to windows update or update and security and then click on check for update once all the updates are installed over here restart game period after the system restart launch the game next step is to allow the game exe file to antivirus program now if you have the windows security if you are using windows security go to privacy and security windows security click on virus and threat protection scroll down at the bottom you will see manage ransomware protection click on it click on allow an app through control folder access click on yes to allow click on add an allowed app browser apps go to the game installation folder open the game folder and then you have to select the game exe file select the game exe file click on open and then type in control panel in windows search box click on control panel system and security windows defender firewall allow an app or feature through windows defender firewall change settings and then allow another app click on click on browse over here go to the game installation folder and again open the game folder select the game exe file over here click on open and then click on add in my case the game is already added once the game is added now launch the game Similarly, if you have any third-party antivirus like Avast, Norton, Bitdefender, McAfee, whichever antivirus program you have, allow the game exe file to your antivirus program. Next step is to run the game from the game installation folder. Make a right-click, manage, browse local files, and then open the game folder. Win, and over here you Win64. Select the game exe file. Make a double-click, launch the game from here, and then check. If that does not work, make a right-click, go to properties. Go to this tab, put a check on the box which says run this program as an administrator, hit apply, click on OK and then launch the game and then check. Still not work, working, go to properties once again. This time you can put a check over here, select Windows 8, hit apply, click on OK, launch the game and then check. You can even try Windows 7 over here, hit apply, click on OK, launch the game. If that does not work, you can try disable full screen optimization, hit apply, click on OK, launch the game and then check. Now when you put a check on all these boxes, still not working, you can uncheck these boxes. Hit apply, click on OK, follow the next step. Now the next step is to, the last step is to uninstall and reinstall the game to different drives. So if nothing is working, you can uninstall the game. After the uninstall, you can install the game to C drive. If the game is installed to D drive or E drive or any other drive, try to install the game to C drive and then check. If the game is already installed to C drive, try installing the game to another SSD and then check. So one of the steps shown in this video should help you to run this game successfully on a Windows computer. So that'll be all. Thank you so much for your time and please like this video and subscribe to my channel.